Former Buffalo Bills running back Fred Jackson is doing okay today. Officials in the city of Renton say they want to set the record straight about what happened. We told you this morning on Wake Up, Jackson crashed his car near the Seattle Seahawks training facility yesterday. We have News 4's Katie Alexander with the latest. Katie. Well, Teresa, within minutes of that crash, rumors went viral that it had happened while Fred Jackson was drag racing against his teammates. Now, Jackson says that's not true. He was not racing at all, although speed was likely a factor. That looks like something uh, probably out of control. Something is going pretty fast, I would imagine. Police say 34-year-old Fred Jackson was going too fast when he left the Seahawks practice facility in Renton and lost control, leaving the roadway and creating quite the sight. One of the pictures that I that I that I snapped was uh, Jeremy Lane going, oh, oh. That witness says at first he didn't know what he was looking at. The first thing he saw was Jackson and some teammates, including former Buffalo Bill Marshawn Lynch, standing on the curb near Jackson's 2016 Corvette. I'm like, oh, it's it's Marshawn. There's a Marshawn sighting. Then I look a little bit further to my right. I'm like, oh, it's, it's there's a pole that seems to be out of place. That pole ended up lodged in the grill of Jackson's car. It had been sheared off at its base. You just, you know, you, you got to be going pretty darn fast to take out a pole. Right after the crash, TMZ reported that Jackson had been racing Marshawn Lynch and that Jackson had left the scene of the crash. Police say those reports are false. In a news release, they actually pointed out that he was polite and cooperative at the scene. And Jackson himself took to Twitter with his side of the story, explaining that his teammates, including Marshawn, had stopped to check on him after he lost control of his car. Since Jackson tweeted that out, it has been retweeted thousands of times, and there have been plenty of replies. Most are saying things like they're glad Jackson is okay. A few are doubting his story about what happened, and at least some are about people missing Jackson here in Buffalo. Katie Alexander, News 4.